Hey guys, welcome back into the kitchen. Now, while we were at the orchard, we've got a ton of apples and now we've got a ton of leftovers. So we've got some apple butter and some cider I need to use up. And I thought the best way to do so was by making an absolute New England classic, boiled cider donuts. Now these are fantastic donuts. They're not too sweet. They're cinnamon sugary deliciousness. They're super simple and super easy. So let's get in the kitchen and let's get baking. Okay, so to do this, we have sort of three sets of ingredients. We've got our dry ingredients, our wet ingredients, and then we're gonna cream some butter and sugar. Let's just do the dry ingredients now. Three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, just regular flour, two teaspoons of baking powder and a teaspoon of baking soda. Spices, I've got two and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. It gives it a nice flavor. A good teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna mix this up. Make sure that all your kind of leaveners get all taken care of. And now we have our wet ingredients. I've got a half a cup of fresh apple butter to which I'm going to add a half a cup of milk. And then this is sort of what I did with the cider. These are why these donuts have their name, boiled cider. You take all of your cider and reduce it down to about a tenth of the volume. So it's gonna be real syrupy. So you can see it turns almost like maple syrup. So we've got about a third a cup of that. So I'm gonna add that in here. This is gonna give a ton of great apple flavor. And then to this, we're going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Just give this a quick mix. Now we're going to go ahead and cream our butter. I've got one stick of unsalted butter, to which I'm going to add about a third of a cup each of granulated white and brown sugar. I use dark brown sugar because it has a more of a molassesy caramel flavor. We're gonna let this cream until light and fluffy. This takes about three to five minutes. You wanna actually get it to change colors. Right now we've got that dark brown. Whip as much air as possible into this butter. So it will actually turn a little bit lighter, uh, lighter in color. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add in an egg yolk one at a time. We're doing five egg yolks. This will help it to be really, really velvety. Using just the egg yolks adds a fair amount of fat to this. These are treats not a staple in your diet. We're going to start adding in our dry ingredients first while it's on low. You can do this by hand too, I'm just lazy. Alternate it with the wet ingredients. Oh, that smells so good. Vanilla and the apple cider are like liquid apple pie. So then I'm gonna add more of this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this out on a baking sheet so that we can put it in the fridge for about eight hours. This helps the butter to solidify so they're easier to cut out when we fry them. All right guys, these have been sitting overnight in the fridge, so they've nice and firmed up. You saw how kind of liquidy those first ones were before we put them in there. This allows it to set up, and I really floured it a lot too so that it'll not stick when we turn them out. I'm gonna go ahead and flour the board a little bit. I'm just gonna gently flip this over. You can use parchment paper or cling film too. I, I prefer parchment because it peels off. So I would went and got donut cutter. You can use just a glass too, just to cut them in. But I like donut cutters because it also gives me a little donut hole. Dip this in flour first, because I don't want it to stick. And then I'm just gonna go straight down. Pull up, perfect. Set these here. Save the donut holes, obviously. Once you cut them all out, I put them back in the, the freezer actually just for about 10 minutes to keep them firm because as soon as that butter starts to soften in these, they can become pretty difficult to deal with. I'm a big boy, I'm a big gal, and I really like a lot of donut. Great, I'll get the rest of these cut out and we'll get frying. Okay, now we can go ahead and fry these. I've got about three inches of oil, and to that I'm gonna add our donut. 
Now this is gonna fry for about three minutes on each side, depending on how thick they are. I made some pretty big donuts. I've done this in a cast iron skillet as well, which works as long as it's a really heavy bottom. Once these are fried, while they're still hot, we're gonna get them into cinnamon sugar. That helps the cinnamon sugar to stick to them. So now, just shake, 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 senora. Go ahead and drop that in there. Cover it in some cinnamon sugar. Be very careful. These donuts are, as you may have guessed, very, very hot when they come out of hot oil. Now, we've got a couple more to do, and then we'll give them a taste. Our donuts are nicely fried and delicious, and now all that's left is a taste test. These are like nice and crispy on the outside, and oh, gooey deliciousness on the inside. Perfectly done, soft, cakey, and like not overly sweet. These are just absolutely divine. Thank you so much for joining me back in the kitchen. Make these at home, go to the orchard, gather your friends, drink some cider, and make these donuts because you saw how simple they were. Very, very easy. Make them the night before, fry them off, get them coated in cinnamon sugar, and share them with everybody. Just like this video. Like, share with everybody, and subscribe. We will see you here next time on Jake Bakes. Mmm. Oh, Just roll me out of here. These are, these are mine now. Okay. Let's try a donut hole. Mmm. God, I love a good hole.